Hey everyone, this is Tyler with Lowbrow Customs. I'm going to show you a simple task, uh, but something we get a lot of questions about, annealing a copper head gasket. This is a pre-unit Triumph head gasket. It's used on the engine, it would be right there. It goes between the cylinder, barrel, and the head. Uh, this is a used one. Uh, it's pretty firm. So if you're gonna reuse a head gasket, you need to anneal it. And it's also uh, worth noting that typically even brand new head gaskets, like the one you might get in your full gasket kit, Rebuilding Your Triumph, that should be annealed before you use it. Annealing, as you will see, makes it way softer. So right now this one's pretty hard. Simple process, we've got a metal, metal container full of water that we're gonna quench it in. Can do a couple things here. Just got some, some pliers. This is map gas. Map gas is way hotter than propane, and you can get uh, map gas bottles and stuff at, at pretty much any hardware store, uh, used in plumbing typically. Uh, map gas is very useful for many things. Uh, we could use it to heat this gasket up, but I'm impatient, and I don't want to sit here and do that for that long because I have an oxyacetylene set up right here. The basic uh, process here is to heat your gasket up get it a dull cherry, and it won't all stay a uh, dull cherry at the same time because copper is such a good conductor of heat. So uh, you don't want to go nuts and actually like <laughs> melt the copper and ruin your gasket. But I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the oxyacetylene. We'll get this a dull cherry red. I'm gonna toss it in there, and then you'll see how malleable it becomes. Remember, proper safety gear is important. I didn't use any, but I should have. <laughs> I'll dip my uh, pliers in there too. Get a little, get a little warm. So, that is our annealed head gasket, and I know uh, you, you know, you aren't feeling it here, but it's way softer than it was before we annealed it. And you can see there's a little bit of scale and stuff on there. What I personally do is I'll take a, a Scotch-Brite pad and really quickly just kind of clean that off, rinse it off, and uh, wipe it down. Make sure it's clean before you use it and it is ready to go. Um, you know, I use a little gasket cinch or uh, a little copper spray when I'm using a head gasket and assembling a motor, final assembling the head on there. But that's it, that's annealing. Super easy, now you know. More tips, check out our other videos. Go to lowbrowcustoms.com, call us, whatever. See you on the road.